Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a DIY. I have several items for you to follow to have a Grinch theme um, decoration around your house. I made a couple of them. I can't remember how many at the moment, but I made them as easy as possible and as inexpensive as possible. I did duped a few of the items from the Hobby Lobby because the Hobby Lobby is expensive even if you go with a 50% off coupon or it's on sale. I do show you the original ones that I duped and then the other ones are solemnly from my um, creativity idea here and there, Pinterest and so forth. Remember to click subscribe if you haven't done so and click the little bell to notify when I have a new video and let's get started with our DIYs and comment down below what was your favorite one that I made for you guys. Let's get started. Our first sort of two crafts that we're going to be making are going to be a candy cane theme posts uh, like a North Pole and a Grinch uh, sign uh, that is themed as a candy cane. The candy canes and the candy post uh, you will need these um, pool noodles and these are from the dollar store so they are a bit thinner than the ones you would get if you buy them at another store and they're easier and flexible flexier to to bend and then you will need white duct tape or just white tape or white ribbon not not straight but sideways so I'm gonna start it all the way from the bottom so I can right after you put a big ornament this one this ornament actually lights up it has a little switch on the top and it lights up and then you have your north pole so you can stick anywhere that you like let's get to the other craft with this pool noodles you actually can do a bunch of things for this peppermint candy we're simply going to roll our pool noodle and hot glue inside of where we're already bending please be careful it is a pool noodle it does burn it pretty fast so you gotta do it really fast and kinda keep it hold it so it keeps its form uh, make sure that you don't touch the hot glue because it'll burn you I burn myself like three times uh, hold it tightly 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 and continue hot gluing make sure you hold it because if you let go for a little bit it will unwind and the hot glue will not be stuck to it after you're finished it'll look just like this I did uh, use a piece of duct tape right on the back just to hold it and make sure it keeps its place you can see the thing there kind of ripped a little bit so yes that's what I'm telling you we're going to be using these uh, like cello wrapping plastic to make our candy our peppermint look like an actual candy we'll cut a big piece that goes all the way around and tie it on the on the sides i did use this tinsel from another project that i did and it looks like a very cute candy i'll be using this in a little garland thing that i have over in my kitchen it'll look very grinchy like inside of my house you can do many things with this uh, pool noodle projects for the next one, we're going to be doing the Grinch sign where it looks like a peppermint candy or a candy cane. And you're also going to be needing a few other things. I did also use the little light up ornaments right at the top. For the sign parts, we're going to be using these wood um, arrows. I got them at the Dollar Tree and we're going to be using uh, three color paints like you saw. It's green, white, and red. For the signings, they are acrylic paints. I'm taking off the backing, this little rope thing that they use in my signs. And we're going to paint each of them a different color. One of them has to be to the left. Um, no, two to the right, two to the left, I'm sorry, and one to the right. And then we're going to put each of them one color. The top will be red, the middle will be white, and the bottom one will be green.
we're simply going to make our background this one I'm painting all red Now that we have all of our arrows painted, we're going to be lettering or signing our signs. I'm going to be using my acrylic paint um, pens. The red one will have um, Mount Rumpet and the white one will say Whoville and our green one will say Grinch Lair. Now we're going to grab our pole there, we're going to grab our hot glue gun and stick our arrows right on our candy cane pole. The top one, remember, is Mount Gruffet, the middle one will be Whoville, and our last one is Grinch Lair. I did use a little bit of duct tape right on the back just to make sure it, they will stay. And that's it for this other project, our Grinch City or Whoville City sign. For this other project, <clears throat> I did pick up two of these little doggies. They look like book end caps, kind of, sort of. And I'm going to be making um, Max, the little doggy. I'm going to, I have a little help here. That's what I'm going to be making, the little silhouette kind of on the side. And to make his little horn thing that the Grinch puts on him, the little, let's see, the little horn thing, I'm going to be using this berry garland from the Dollar Tree as well and kind of put it on his head that's the only thing that I could think of <laughs> put it in his head and because it, it is a wired um, lanyard or what is it called garland so I thought it would help me a little bit better get the little thing stuck to his head I have two of them because I want to have two at each end of the of my little table. I'm gonna try to put it around his head like this and kind of twist right here so the little hollies or whatever these are stay there and then kind of prop it this way and I'm going to cut right about there. I should cut right at the end where the little and goes and then I would hot glue it after I kind of do that. Can you see that? And I thought these little shenanigan things could represent little branches that um, the little horn has. So we're going to I'm going to paint him brown and do double of that. Here's my doggies, my knockoffs. They, they did have the other version where he's facing to the front, but they didn't have one of those in the Dollar Tree, and I'm knocking it off like I told you. But I think they look perfect. They look so cute. My Max dogs from the Grinch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me For this other project, you're going to need these ornaments from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they do have this design on this side, but we're going to turn over and use the other. Uh, in case you want to use this for the next year, you can still do that. And we're going to be taking off 
this part of the ornament which is it's a metal piece of the ornament we're going to take it off and then stick it back in here but before we're going to go and trace the ornament size into a white piece of paper oh my gosh i'm barely looking that it's not going to fit so we can do two sides a little bit of each other if we don't have a a craft paper like the one for scrapbooking it would be a better size so white paper a pencil and your sharpies or color pencils or whatever you're gonna draw it with and at the end I'm going to be Mod Podging it I'm gonna Mod Podge it to stick it here and Mod Podge is to make the final design look um, glossy and protected like this kind of sort of like this and we're gonna trace first the ornament into the paper and do our drawing and then do the Mod Podge process and then that is it this are I'm going to be doing the knockoff of some ornament um, uh, wall designs or wall art that I saw at Hobby Lobby so these are the knockoffs that I'm going to be making and I really noticed that they have kind of like a drawing no um, ornament hook so maybe these ones on the other side won't look as nice uh, if I take them off and stick them on the other side unless I paint them a little bit but we'll see what it is that's the first one the second and then the third and I'm going to try it and mimic this into this and I didn't find I think I don't have scrap of paper so I'm gonna make two of my papers like this and then make my full circle
they look after a few coats of um, Mod Podge. You see, maybe look at the glossy. I did end up painting this, the white part, with white acrylic paint because it got messy. You saw that the markers bled or bleed, so I had to do that. There's that one. There's our green one with um, the Grinch and oh, I forgot her name right now. And then there's the last one, the Merry Christmas. All the white parts I did touch up again with acrylic paint, but that's how they look. I did do the silver paint on the other side, and you can see I have my perfectly let us know one on this side, and then my Grinch one on this side. Hopefully, um, they don't look as like because they have the strokes of the markers and all but I think it's a great dupe I really like how it, they came out and I'm going to put them in my living room yay 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 okay next project okay to do our Grinch hand who we're going to be white felt white felt red felt I got this one at the Dollar Tree you need a grind lime green feather boa and I got this one at Hobby Lobby it was $3.99 but you can also use a coupon you'll need a big ornament I got this one from the Dollar Tree you'll need a glove one of these very famous you probably have already at home plastic glove you need uh, something for the arm I'm going to be using this pool noodle it happens to be lime green as well it's just a little piece of one that I had from before I'm gonna be using uh, tin foil or foil wrap and I'm going to be using some masking tape here, the masking tape or the duct tape, whatever you have, for the painter's um, hand. And um, to fill it up, to fill the, the glove inside, you can either use tissue paper or cotton ball or polyfill or anything that you want. It just it needs to be filled. Okay, let's start by doing our hand. I did have this polyfill that I had for last year. I got it for $1.50 at a thrift store, I think. So I'm going to be using some of this instead of the newspaper. It's just a neat, it needs a little bit of structure, that's all, and to go in between the fingers. Our hand right here look at that we have this fringe now I'm trying to mimic or do this one you see it kind of curves into inside so to do that doing at the same time as you are we're gonna cut each piece of our feather boa for our fingers and then wrap our our hand because if we yeah. we're gonna cut long pieces of the feather boa we're gonna tuck it in there and make sure it goes all the way out right where the finger ends we're gonna cut hopefully our boa doesn't go all places and then we're going to hot glue the little piece there. And there it is. There is the hand. Look at that. You can see 
one, two, three, four, five fingers. On the other side, I use the rest of the boa, but just kind of swivel like that and then end it here just to, so it looks furry. I, it, it looks a little bit bare right there, but it's the back of the French hand and right here we're going to add our final piece which is our big ornament and I'm gonna keep the little string that the, it has and then put it on his fingers And this is how it ended up all my projects this is the Grinch I did put some fairy lights in there from the Dollar Tree they're battery operated and that's how it looks if we tuck it in the tree I did use some of the branches from the tree to hold them to hold the arm but I love it these are my ornament designs or signs the dupe from Hobby Lobby they look wonderful love them as well My candy peppermints that I use for my top part, my what is it called? The tree thing up there it looks cute. My Max dogs right on my TV table console. I don't know what it's called. I love them. And He's, here is the Grinch sign. You can see Luna there. You can see the, how high the pole is. Bigger than, than Luna. And over there, I did put it over there next to my Santa Inflatable, um, my North Pole. This sign one is next to the Grinch Inflatable. I'm showing you that I used a stick, a bamboo stick from my garden and stuck it in there. I could move the, uh, the wood there for my water bulb but I have, it's easy to turn on my little ornament. And that's how all of my projects look like. I love them all, especially because I made it. I think uh, the hand is, I like the number one. Will you guys like it? Comment down below what's your favorite. Subscribe if you have none. So if you heard it, thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.